Chapter 711, Giving Up on Possession Cranes cried out, flying beautifully in the sky, displaying their elegant appearances. As the wind blew gently, the trees on Fahey Mountain were swaying lightly. The sun was high in the sky, but the sunlight could not penetrate into this dark gloomy underground secret room. The underground secret room was plain and simple, the surroundings were stone walls and other than the stone bed at the center, there was nothing. Moist water vapor slipped into the cracks of the walls, as moss grew on them. On the stone bed, there was a rotten and ruined body of a young rank 5 Gu master, it was Gu Yu Fang Zheng. In order to detect Fang Yuan's location, coordinating with He Feng Yang to attack Hu Immortal Blessed Land, Fang Zheng was plotted against by Lord Sky Crane and lost control of the failed blood demon Flower Gu, causing him to lose too much blood and his soul went on the verge of collapse, as he entered a deep state of unconsciousness. You want to revive Fang Zheng? He Feng Yang was right beside the stone bed, looking at the spirit incubating flea which was floating in front of him. Fang Zheng's master was inside the spirit incubating flea, Lord Sky Crane's soul. At this moment, a firm voice came from within the flea, Yes Lord, I am willing to give up this possession opportunity, please save Fang Zheng instead. He Feng Yang turned his gaze towards Fang Zheng who had fainted, saying softly, the injuries to his body might seem terrifying, but it is not a big concern, even without my help, the sect has many ways to heal him. The problem is his soul. He did the blood sense forcefully this time, it caused a huge burden on his soul, his soul was only a step away from collapsing. Actually, the current situation is most suitable for you to possess his body. This body has a great aptitude and a rank 5 aperture, his soul is extremely weak so if you undergo possession now, you would win the contest between souls without doubt. Wasn't possession your goal all along? Lord Sky Crane laughed bitterly. Ever since he used the method to harm Fang Zheng, Lord Sky Crane had been recalling Fang Zheng's appearance and all the memories of their experiences had been flashing through his mind. Fang Zheng's purity, his pursuit of justice, it reminded him of his younger self. Fang Zheng's desire for revenge was so similar to his own experiences. Subordinate's original plan was to possess Fang Zheng. But, now in my heart, I feel guilt and reluctance. According to logic, he has the bloodline of first gen Guyu, yet he has been calling me master and trusts me, he had never thought I would harm him. He believes in justice, just like I did in the past. If I kill him and succeed in the possession, would have to live within his shell in the future, how would I face myself? Lord Sky Crane sighed. He Feng Yang was silent for a while, before he raised his hand and placed it on Fang Zheng's forehead. A green light that was gentle as water dripped down from He Feng Yang's palm, spreading all over Fang Zheng's body. Everywhere the green light reached, his swollen flesh and scars healed rapidly at a visible rate. After several breaths of time, Fang Zheng's body fully recovered, his breathing relaxed, but he was still unconscious. I have already healed his physical body, and stabilized his soul. As a reward for being my subordinate, I will give you another opportunity, Sky Crane. You do not need to give up on the possession chance, I will give you some time to consider it, think it through properly. He Feng Yang said. Lord. He Feng Yang retracted his hand, the possession technique we have is not complete, it originated from Northern Plains. Right now, our sex old lord Ken Yang has followed Feng Jiogu into Northern Plains, he had been assigned several missions from the sectim. One of them is to collect more information and improve the possession technique. When he returns to the sect, Sky Crane, you will have a higher chance of succeeding in the possession. By that point, you would have already reflected thoroughly on it, give me the answer then. Lord. Without waiting for Lord Sky Crane to finish speaking, He Feng Yang waved his sleeves and his figure vanished. Who immortal blessed land, in an underground cave. The wisdom light halo that was shining in many colors shone on Fang Yuan's face. Fang Yuan's brows were tightly locked, his expression was grim and uncertain. G.U.H. Suddenly, 
he opened his mouth, spitting a mouthful of green zombie blood. At the same time, countless joyful wills in his mind collapsed and disintegrated. This was the first time Fang Yuan had gotten injured from using the Light of Wisdom. Fang Yuan stepped out of the Light of Wisdom, finding a mushroom nearby and sitting on it like a bench. He stretched out one arm to wipe the zombie blood around his mouth, as he inspected his mind while enduring the huge pain in his head. His mind was experiencing tremors, thoughts disintegrated on their own the moment they were created. The surrounding boundaries of his mind had mild cracks on them, this was the backlash due to Fang Yuan's forceful thinking. At this moment, as long as Fang Yuan had a thought, intense pain would assault his mind. He shut his eyes and stopped all his thinking, he was like a rock statue without any movement. Upt. Ted Chapters. NN. Velbin. Dot. Com. A while later, he slowly opened his eyes, inspecting his mind again. The tremors had stopped in his mind, but the boundaries still had remaining cracks on them. The speed of his thought generation was slower than before, but they would not collapse upon creation. That was to say, Fang Yuan could think again. This injury was no doubt a valuable experience, Fang Yuan learned many things from it. Wisdom path deductions have a risk as well, one can get injured. Just like strength path, overexerting oneself would cause them to pull their muscles, and their tendons might even break. This time, I was trying to deduce a difficult question of the star path, I used a large amount of joyful wills and the unlimited inspiration from the light of wisdom to deduce countless possibilities. It surpassed the limits and endurance level of my mind, thus I got injured. I thought I could use the power of wisdom goo to deduce the recipe of star shoot goo. But now it seems that my star path foundation is too low, the unlimited inspiration can give me countless possibilities and directions, but I will need to deduce every single possibility. At the same time, during the process of deduction, more choices would be generated. Star Shoot Gu was Star Lord Wan Xiang's self-created Gu Worm. Using large numbers of Star Rain Gu, small numbers of Spring Wind Gu, as well as many other Gu Worms, one could assemble the killer move, Spring Star Rain. The effect of Spring Star Rain was to increase the growth rate of plants. Fang Yuan used it many times to nourish his star fragment grass. But star shoot goo was a consumable goo, right now, he could only purchase it from Star Lord Wan Xiang, and Star Lord Wan Xiang was making a huge profit out of this goo. Fang Yuan had wanted to use the light of wisdom to reverse engineer the star shoot goo's recipe, but he did not succeed, and even got himself injured. Although star shoot goo is a mortal goo, it had been tampered with by Star Lord Wan Xiang, the recipe is very hard to reverse refine. Unless my Star Path Realm reaches master level, if not, it will be hard to succeed. Fang Yuan had a realization. Star Path Master Level Realm, it represented a foundation in Star Path, and could greatly reduce the possibilities when undergoing deductions. It could help Fang Yuan reach the correct answer much quicker. Fang Yuan made an estimate based on the difficulty, if reverse refining star shoot goo's recipe requires star path master level attainment, then researching an entirely new goo recipe to create the starlight firefly goo would be even harder, most likely, star path grandmaster realm is needed. As for modifying Do Min Jun's star path inheritance and creating an entire new star path goo worm, to amplify the effects of attacking, defending, movement, and healing in star path goo worms, that would be even harder. At least quasi-great grandmaster realm attainment is required. Starlight firefly goo was a necessity in activating stargate goo, it would not hurt to have more of it. But in Do Min Jun's inheritance, a bit of star goo, brilliance of two stars goo, three stars in the sky goo, four stars cube goo, five stars aligned goo, these could amplify the offense of star path goo worms. If this was circulated, star path goo would definitely become much more popular, it would even have a mild effect on the current status of the different paths. Fang Yuan's original plan was to reverse refine the goo recipe of star shoot goo and starlight firefly goo, 
one was to escape from his reliance on Star Lord Wan Xiang, but also to have a method to obtain even more Starlight Firefly goo for his use of Stargates. In addition, raising the effects of a bit of star goo, brilliance of two stars goo, three stars in the sky goo, this series of goo worms would help in developing a whole new star path killer move that would suit Fang Yuan's needs, and raise his battle strength. But after making an attempt, Fang Yuan knew that this was not feasible yet. Even if he had the light of wisdom and had unlimited inspiration, his refinement path realm was master level, his star path realm was merely ordinary, it was hard for his plans to work. It seems that to raise my battle strength, I have to focus on my strengths and make use of my advantages. Fang Yuan assessed himself, he was a blood path grandmaster, strength path grandmaster, flying quasi grandmaster, refinement path master, enslavement path master, as well as transformation path master. He first eliminated blood path. Blood Path Goo Immortals were heavily targeted by everyone, because Blood Path cultivation focused on harming others to raise one's own battle strength. The Righteous and Demonic Paths were both unwilling to face such a huge threat like Blood Path Goo Immortals. Only during the Five Regions Chaotic War, when the law and order of the regions go into chaos, would Blood Path emerge again. Although Fang Yuan had Blood Deity's Remnant Recipe, he did not want to deduce the completed recipe yet, he did not have the financial capability to refine Blood Deity Immortal Goo now. Furthermore, the Blood Path inheritance in his previous life had yet to mature, he could not retrieve it yet. Next, Fang Yuan eliminated Strength Path. Strength Path had once flourished in the past, at present, it had already heavily declined. Even though there were incredible geniuses like Chu Du, it was unlikely for the past glory of strength path to reappear. The might and prosperity of a path not only relied on genius goo masters and goo immortals, they also relied on resources. In the present era, the resources for strength path had mostly gone extinct, or were extremely rare. Strength path had little prospects, many goo recipes were lost, and the future was grim. Even though Fang Yuan was a strength path immortal zombie, he did not want to walk on this path. The reason he chose strength path was because the conditions back then were very convenient, he would use it as a springboard, to change to another path in the future. He later became a strength path immortal zombie because he was left with no choice in 88 True Yang building. Unless Fang Yuan was like Hei Lu Lan with multiple strength path immortal Gu, who can raise her battle strength using these immortal goo. But such a situation was not feasible for Fang Yuan. Blood Path and Strength Path were dead ends, Flying Quasi Grandmaster was merely part of his battle proficiency, Refinement Path did not excel in fighting, Fang Yuan's only options were Enslavement Path and Transformation Path. But Enslavement Path needed beast groups. At the level of Gu Immortals, ordinary beasts were of little use. Their core beast groups would be elevated from mutated beast kings and beast emperors to desolate beasts. Fang Yuan used the light of wisdom and thought about it for a long time. Three days later, he finally made a breakthrough in Transformation Path. Chapter 712, Lion Fur Armor, Transplanting Bat Wings Time flew by quickly and in a blink of an eye, ten days had passed in Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Fang Yuan was flying in the air. Hair Armor His thoughts shifted, his hair grew wildly and instantly condensed into a malevolent-looking pitch-black armor full of spikes. Icy Drill Stardust Fang Yuan pinched at the air with his five fingers, a ball of starlight formed on his hand. The starlight constantly let out crackling sounds, looking closely inside, one could discover there were countless small specks of icy drills colliding and exploding non-stop. Fang Yuan slowly pressed this ball of starlight into the hair armor on his chest. The hair armor lasted for a few breaths before it began to be damaged. A dozen or so breaths later, the surroundings of the damaged area were dyed azure blue, and the blue frost was spreading everywhere. Twenty breaths later, the hair armor completely shattered, and there was a small hole on Fang Yuan's chest. 
this was completely within Fang Yuan's expectations. He had merged Du Min Jun's inheritance into Icy Drill Stardust, this would sell for four immortal essence stones in Treasure Yellow Heaven. And the defensive killer move hair armor would only be worth around two and a half immortal essence stones. The starlight on his palm dissipated, Fang Yuan willed and activated hair armor again. However, the hair armor this time was different, it was a new and improved version, having gone through many days of experimentation. The hair armor transformed quickly. The useless malevolent spikes were removed. The black iron-like luster before also turned into bronze. The primary cause for this was Fang Yuan perfectly merging large numbers of golden lion fur goo into the original foundation of hair armor. Golden Lion Fur Goo was a rank 5 mortal goo that could let goo masters grow golden lion fur, increasing their defense and having an even higher increase in resistance to metal path attacks. Several breaths later, the original black iron spiked hair armor was gone, and replacing it was a smooth bronze armor which was twice the thickness of the black armor. The helmet had turned into the shape of a lion roaring with an open mouth, revealing Fong Yuan's face inside. The defensive ability had also increased by 150%. If it was defending against metal path attacks, the defensive power would increase by a whole 200%. Fang Yuan made a lump of starlight again and pressed it towards his chest area like before. The stardust drilled endlessly into the hair armor, but after a whole dozen or so breaths had gone by, the starlight was completely used up and merely a crack appeared on the hair armor. Let's call it lion fur armor. Fang Yuan mumbled to himself before raising his eight arms and letting out eight lumps of starlight. The starlight flew to the sky and gathered into a large lump. Fang Yuan laughed heartily, charging into the large lump of stardust with his lion fur armor. The icy drill stardust constantly produced tiny explosions which impacted against Fang Yuan's lion fur armor from all directions. Fang Yuan constantly maintained the lion fur armor killer move, rapidly restoring any cracks that appeared. He maintained it till the starlight lump dissipated, and then flew down. There was not even a trace of a crack on the lion fur armor. Such recovery ability is about twice that of before. If placed in treasure yellow heaven, this could sell for four and a half immortal essence stones. CH CK4 EWST Lion fur armor was one of the accomplishments Fang Yuan had made these days. He returned to Dang Hun Palace where Hu Immortal Land Spirit was maintaining connecting Heaven Gu, paying attention to Treasure Yellow Heaven. How is the situation? Fang Yuan asked. Master, the other party is still insisting on four immortal essence stones and shows no signs of lowering it. Little Hu Immortal Land Spirit replied. Fang Yuan wanted to buy a pair of bat desolate beast wings. The other party had killed this bat desolate beast and was putting its corpse on sale in Treasure Yellow Heaven. Fang Yuan had asked for price before, but the other party had asked for four immortal essence stones just for this pair of bat wings, and their attitude was firm, not willing to lower it. For immortal essence stones was no doubt an expensive price. Back then, when Fang Yuan bought a six-headed snake skeleton, he had only had to pay three immortal essence stones. According to the normal price, it should be two and a half at most. 
Fang Yuan personally activated Divine Sense Gu and used the identity of eight arm immortal to get in touch with the seller, I am willing to pay three immortal essence stones to buy this pair of bat wings. The seller's will, however, refused, I'm not selling, not selling, the lowest is at least four immortal essence stones. Fang Yuan snorted, Sir is too greedy, look at how damaged these desolate beast wings are, they would normally only sell for two and a half immortal essence stones. If not for me wanting to research some new goo and coincidentally happening to need this material, I would not have even asked. The seller's will's tone softened and it sighed, I am also helpless, my losses were too severe when hunting this desolate beast. This desolate beast's blood had already flowed out and my main body also suffered heavy injuries, if I don't sell it for this price, my finances will collapse and it might even lead to a delay in healing my injuries. Whether you live or die, is that my problem? Also, why would I believe your one-sided words? Three immortal essence stones, are you selling or not? Fang Yuan said coldly. Not selling. Fang Yuan immediately withdrew his divine sense. After a while, he commanded Little Hu Immortal Land Spirit to inquire about the price and show a stance of being impatient. How about this, I will take out three immortal essence stones to buy your bat wings. Say it, are you selling or not? The sellers will hesitated this time, but still refused in the end, this pair of wings is the most valuable part of the whole desolate beast corpse. If sir only wants to buy the wings, it won't be easy for me to sell the remaining parts. If you are sincerely thinking of buying, how about you take out five immortal essence stones to buy this whole desolate beast corpse? Little Hu Immortal talked with Fang Yuan, and replied, I only need the wings, what will I do with the other parts? I have wasted enough time already. Three immortal essence stones are already a lot, alright I shall give you three and a half immortal essence stones, this is my final bottom line. If you are still not selling, then forget it. The seller's will was clearly shaken and it replied with hesitation, this, let me consider it. The land spirit hastened him, my patience has limits, I will give you five breaths of time. Any longer and I might just take back my offer. For breaths passed before the sellers will heaved a long sigh. He also knew that although there was a high demand for desolate beast corpses but his price was indeed high. Gu immortals were shrewd people, there were few that would spend money casually. All right, I will sell. The seller's will was just replying when a divine sense interrupted him, slow down, I want this bad desolate beast's corpse, I will give you five immortal essence stones. Eh. Sir is immortal monkey king. This change naturally made the seller very happy. If he sold the bat wings to Fang Yuan for three and a half immortal essence stones, then trying to sell the remaining parts of the corpse which were extremely damaged for one immortal essence stone would be demanding a very high price. Now, immortal monkey king Shirley cut in and was willing to pay five immortal essence stones, the seller was naturally willing to accept this transaction. Wait a second, we have already made the deal. Immortal Monkey King, what do you think you are doing by suddenly butting in? Who Immortal Land Spirit refused to accept this? What deal? Shirley scoffed, who are you kidding? Does business in Treasure Yellow Heaven pay attention to first come, first serve? The item will naturally go to whoever pays the higher price. Since the transaction has not been carried out, there is no deal. After saying that, Shirley then said to the seller, Hey, this deal will earn you a great profit, why are you not quickly finishing the transaction? The seller's will was just about to nod when Hu Immortal Land Spirit obtained Fang Yuan's instructions and immediately prevented it, Slow down, I will pay five and a half immortal essence stones. Humph, only adding half an immortal essence stone, aren't you too petty? I will pay seven immortal essence stones. Shirley said with a rich and overbearing attitude. Who Immortal Land Spirit's tone immediately became gloomy, since it is so, I will pay eight Immortal Essence Stones. Eight? Shirley laughed, 
then I will pay nine. Nine and a half. Who immortal land spirit immediately quoted. That sellers will had never expected such a change and was already overjoyed. Shirley was dazed before laughing loudly, all right, who immortal, as expected of someone doing the business of guts goo, you have so much money. I don't want to contend with a junior. Just a mere damaged desolate beast corpse, I hope you can be happy when you take it. The divine sense left directly after laughing heartily. Who? Lord who immortal, you meant what you said, right? The sellers will wore a fawning smile as he said while stammering. From the looks of it, he had not lied before, he was indeed a poor rank six goo immortal. Humph, business needs to be done with sincerity, would my words be a lie? Who immortal land spirit coldly snorted. The two finished the transaction. The seller received nine and a half immortal essence stones while Fang Yuan obtained a bat desolate beast's corpse. After this transaction, Fang Yuan checked his wealth again, he had 172 immortal essence stones and 77 beads of green grape immortal essence. So far, Fang Yuan had already sold the sixth batch of guts goo. It was an average of one batch per month and every batch gave him 48 immortal essence stones in profit. Over these six months, Fang Yuan had completed one transaction of an immortal goo recipe with Langya Land Spirit, earning over 20 immortal essence stones. But he had fed the eight desolate beasts earlier and converted large numbers of immortal essence stones into green grape immortal essence. He also consumed green grape immortal essence to reverse refined star path goo recipes, which ended in failure, and finally, to make a breakthrough using transformation path, he improved on his killer moves. He had not only improved his defensive killer move hair armor to lion fur armor, but also upgraded light illusion bat wings by a great degree. But to complete the new light illusion bat wings, he needed to transplant a pair of real bat wings onto his immortal zombie body. Because of this, Fang Yuan did not hesitate on spending a large amount to buy this bat desolate beast's corpse. Immortal Monkey King Shirley, making me spend three times the price to buy this bat corpse. I will remember this. Shirley was a higher up of combat immortal sect, which was one of the ten great ancient sections. During his previous life's five regions chaotic war, after Feng Jiogu died, he replaced Feng Jiogu as the most powerful rank seven in Central Continent. He was an earth path expert but cultivated transformation path as well, having secretly obtained several inheritances of reckless savage demon venerable. Fang Yuan thought of raising the price of Guts Gu to combat immortal sect, but he dispelled this thought after pondering about it. For the next half a month, he concentrated on handling the bat desolate beast's corpse. He carefully cut apart the bat wings and did more than a dozen sessions of meticulous treatment and maintenance. He then used fire path and strength path goo worms to constantly temper the bat wings, as a result, the extremely wide bat wings gradually became more condensed and small. Finally, after Fang Yuan endured intense pain, he finally succeeded in transplanting the bat wings onto his back. Chapter 713 True Solid Bat Wings A wind wolf had its head lowered, its four limbs were stealthily moving as it traveled in the lush grassland. The prey that it was targeting was a pink flower rabbit. The rabbit's two ears were standing on end, listening to every movement nearby. The rabbit's head was buried in the flowers, eating pollen as food. As a cool breeze blew on this mountain, flowers blossomed in this lush greenery, giving off waves of fragrant smells. The wind wolf slowly got closer, but the pink flower rabbit had no idea. Suddenly, a black shadow flew past the ground rapidly. The pink flower rabbit was shocked, it raised its head. Even though who immortal blessed land had no eagle groups, it sprinted away in fear, managing to survive this trial causing the wind wolf to fail in its hunt. Fang Yuan, who was flying in the air, observed all of this. He could not help but start to think, right now, I have ample funds, 
and my own blessed land has turned into a dead aperture, I might as well manage this who immortal blessed land first. After the journey in northern plains, the beast groups in who immortal blessed land had fallen in numbers, becoming very sparse. Right now, I am already selling guts goo, the rock men transaction is simply unnecessary. Who immortal was an enslavement path goo immortal, who immortal blessed land has a grassland landscape, it is most suited for raising fox groups. If I raise the vitality of who immortal blessed land and make it flourish with life, when I revive, I would gain much greater benefits if I fuse this who immortal blessed land. This it n. Velbin, dot, c. M4. E. W. Ovals. Thinking so, Fang Yuan inspected the bat wings on his back. This was the third time he had tested out flying with these newly transplanted bat wings on his back. The processed bat wings, if spread fully, were not even half of Fang Yuan's arm length. They were yellow brown in color, and were quite petite, they seemed much less impressive than the prior light illusion bat wings. But Fang Yuan did not care about appearance, he only looked at its value and usefulness. The new light illusion bat wings gave Fang Yuan almost double the speed boost, at the same time, the duration of his flight had greatly increased. After all, the bat wings back then were only a phantom, the bat wings now were real physical wings. The flesh, skin, fur, bones, and blood were all condensed and refined. There were also many goo worms inside these wings. The goo worms residing in the bat wings were used to activate the newly modified movement killer move, Light Illusion Bat Wings. No, right now, using the name Light Illusion Bat Wings for this killer move is no longer appropriate. I should call it True Solid Bat Wings. Fang Yuan created a new name for this newly modified killer move. He was more pleased with this movement killer move True Solid Bat Wings than the Lion Fur Armor. If this movement killer move was sold in Treasure Yellow Heaven, it could be sold for six immortal essence stones or more. That was because true solid bat wings had much potential left, one pair of bat wings was not its limit. It could transplant three pairs of bat wings at most. The origin of these wings should be at least desolate beasts. Of course, ancient desolate beasts and immemorial desolate beasts would be even better. If Fang Yuan could transplant three pairs of desolate beast bat wings on his back, his speed would be at least three times faster. Light Illusion Bat Wings was the most widely spread movement killer move during the Five Regions Chaotic War due to its price to value ratio. On that basis, raising one's speed by three times as much would be even more impressive. Even though it could not compare to movement immortal goo like Worldly Wave Trace or Rising Azure Cloud, if Fang Yuan met Plump Lady again, her light sand escape would not allow her to run from Fang Yuan's assault. As the winds blew intensely behind him, Fang Yuan flapped with his wings and flew up into the sky. After flying to a high altitude in midair, Fang Yuan closed his eyes and felt the sensation of the air currents blowing on the bat wings silently. His immortal zombie body could not feel any pain, his sense of touch was nearly non-existent. This was a strength and also a weakness. When Fang Yuan transplanted the bat wings, he spent a lot of effort in order to retain the sense of pain and touch that the bat wings had. Only by doing this could he have a clearer and realistic feeling of the air when he flaps his wings, to feel the strength of the air currents, and to sense the state of the wings. Losing the sense of pain numbed him and made Fang Yuan fight more fiercely. But flying was another matter. Flying required meticulous control, especially when Fang Yuan's flying attainment had reached quasi-grandmaster level. Only by regaining his sense of pain and touch could he truly display his actual flying attainment. If it was a pair of zombified wings, the feeling would be very vague, especially in intense battles, when he needed to rely on the wings, sensitive nerves would allow him to react and adapt more easily, instead of being rough and careless. With a boost in movement strength, I will be able to advance or retreat at will. After I get three pairs of wings, true solid bat wings will be an exceptional mortal killer move, 
it would only lose out to worldly wave trace immortal Gu. Fang Yuan was a strength path Gu immortal, he obtained a strength path immortal body. Worldly wave trace immortal Gu had the law of water path, when Fang Yuan uses this immortal Gu, water path and strength path do not work together perfectly, there was a problem of them restricting each other. If a fire path Gu immortal uses worldly wave trace immortal Gu, his speed would be even slower than Fang Yuan. The most suitable would be water path Gu immortals, when they use this same Gu, by expending the same amount of immortal essence, they would achieve greater speed. Most importantly, true solid bat wings was a mortal killer move, compared to using worldly wave trace immortal Gu, it had a much greater value to cost ratio. This was the intelligence of humans. Using the combination of many mortal goo, they could achieve an effect that was only somewhat below immortal goo. Using goo, nurturing goo, and refining goo, they were extremely profound and deep. The corpse of a desolate beast is rarely seen, even if goo immortals sell new beast corpses in treasure yellow heaven, they might not be bats. To collect two more pairs of bat wings, I would need to actively seek them. It seems that now, I should take some risks and go to Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. The immortal aperture of a rank 8 or 9 was known as a Grotto Heaven. The owner of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven was a rank 8 Gu immortal from 1700 years ago, Seven Star Child. Seven Star Child had died long ago, during Fang Yuan's previous life, one day, Starry Sky Grotto Heaven fell from high up in Central Continent, it broke up into tens of immortal aperture fragments, and was scattered all over Central Continent. Fang Yuan had already become a Gu immortal, he could not enter these Grotto Heaven fragments. These fragment worlds of the Grotto Heaven were already very fragile, Fang Yuan's cultivation level was too high and if he tried entering one, it would destroy the extremely unstable Grotto Heaven fragment. Thankfully, Fang Yuan had a bunch of elite subordinates in Bloodwing Demon Sect. After competing with several Gu Immortals, they split a relatively large Grotto Heaven fragment world between themselves. Fang Yuan and the other Immortals sent their respective Gu Master Disciples or subordinates towards the Grotto Heaven fragment world to explore and find resources. Fang Yuan left a will in each of his capable subordinates' minds to direct and supervise them. Thus, he was rather familiar with the scenery inside Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. In this life, currently, Starry Sky Grotto Heaven is still high up in the sky, it had not fallen or broken into pieces. The scenery of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven in my mind will allow me to use fixed immortal travel to enter the Grotto Heaven in advance, to take the resources inside. I remember that there were a number of desolate beasts inside the Grotto Heaven, there were even ancient desolate beasts and among them, there was a star demon bat desolate beast. My goal this time is to go and kill the star demon bat, and obtain the wings. At the same time, I can check the situation and see if I can capture a desolate beast and bring it to Lang Yalan spirit. Fang Yuan planned in his mind. There were still many places in Fang Yuan's memories that were similar to this starry sky grotto heaven. But for some, now was not the time yet, and others were simply too dangerous. Starry Sky Grotto Heaven was the immortal aperture of a rank 8 Gu immortal, it had not reached the point of breaking down like in Fang Yuan's previous life, it was still very strong now. In my previous life, I only sent people to indirectly explore the Grotto Heaven fragment world. By that time, the heavenly spirit was no longer around. But in this life, if I go now, the heavenly spirit is sure to be alive, it can summon the entire defensive power of starry sky grotto heaven. If I had not become an immortal zombie, I would not have the qualifications to explore it. Fang Yuan did not know too much about the current starry sky grotto heaven, he could only deduce it based on his previous life's experiences. In his previous life, he was not the person who benefited the most from this opportunity. It was a rank 8 immortal zombie who rose up as a result of this. The ten great ancient sects which had been extremely forceful all along suffered a loss under the hands of this immortal zombie. 
Next, this immortal zombie entered the Central Continent Zombie Alliance branch, and easily defeated the branch leader, becoming the one in charge and calling himself Star Constellation Immortal Zombie. He had been the cause of many incidents, during the Five Regions' chaotic war, he was an overlord that could hold his own in his territory. As for the real starry sky heavenly spirit, Fang Yuan did not see it, and did not know the conditions for the Grotto Heaven to belong to a new owner. A few days later, Hei Lu Lan brought Strength Qi Immortal Gu and entered Hu Immortal Blessed Land using a stargate. Next, in Fang Yuan's stone nest, Xi and Fang Yuan, together with the thousands of hairy men, refined the eighth batch of air sac Gu. After this, Hei Lu Lan did not leave immediately, instead she stayed in Hu Immortal Blessed Land and listened to Fang Yuan's information on Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. With Fang Yuan's current strength, it was rather dangerous to enter Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. Thus, Fang Yuan invited his allies. But Fairy Li Shan was cooperating with Qin Bai Xing right now, her Mountain Pledge Gu was having great use at this time, it allowed Qin Bai Sheng to gather his forces and eliminate the enmity of his foes, he was preparing for a Northern Plains auction that was of unprecedented scale. Qin Bai Sheng's compensation to Fairy Li Shan was an immortal Gu. With such great benefits, Fairy Li Shan obviously chose Qin Bai Sheng and gave up on working with Fang Yuan this time. As for Tai Bai Yun Sheng, he was with Shark Demon now, entering the sea and exploring Yu Lu blessed land. Even thought Tai Bai Yun Sheng wanted to help his junior brother Fang Yuan, he was afflicted with death sentence awaits immortal Gu, and could not split himself into two, there was nothing he could do to help. Only Hei Lu Lan was free now, she agreed with Fang Yuan to explore Starry Sky Grotto Heaven together. According to the Snowy Mountain Alliance, since the two were exploring and taking the risk together, any losses to Hei Lu Lan would not require Fang Yuan to compensate her twice the amount. At the same time, their gains would be split into Fang Yuan getting 60%, and Hei Lu Lan getting 40%. After resting for a few days in Hu Immortal Blessed Land, Hei Lu Lan entered Fang Yuan's Immortal Aperture. Fang Yuan tried to activate fixed immortal travel with the image in his mind. He tried for three or four times, but he did not succeed. Fang Yuan was not surprised. The image in his memories, although it was a portion of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, it had already fallen at that time, and the scenery had changed drastically. Thankfully, Fang Yuan had many images in his memories. After trying for a dozen times, after he spent more than ten beads of green grape immortal essence, he finally succeeded. With a flash of jade green light, at the next moment, he appeared inside Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. Chapter 714 Fighting Star Desolate Hound They appeared before a thick forest which was verdant and lush, the foot of the mountain was serene and fog filled the place. Fang Yuan had already activated lion fur armor to protect him tightly. He used all his concentration to quickly scan his surroundings and discovered that he had appeared on the waist of a mountain. Surrounding him were tall ancient trees, and even his six-meter tall immortal zombie body could not reach one-third of these giant trees. Raising his head, he gazed at the sky through the opening between the lush leaves. The sky was a tranquil green color. There were six giant shadows of stars in the green sky, they appeared to be six round moons in the color of red, brown, yellow, blue, purple and white. Fang Yuan opened his immortal aperture, and He Lu Lan shortly appeared outside, stepping on the mountain stones. Her eyes flashed with bright light as she looked around, this is inside starry sky grotto heaven. It is indeed, let's go. The desolate beast that I want to kill, Star Demon Bat, should be nearby. The two did not know the exact location of the Star Demon Bat, thus they casually chose a direction and moved along it. While moving forward, the two used investigative methods to scan around them all the time. After advancing to a Goo Immortal, they had unlimited primeval essence and could use Mortal Goo freely. The two had also made ample preparations before they had come here. Although they did not have investigative killer moves, 
they had prepared large numbers of investigative goo worms of all paths to not only enhance their vision and hearing, but also to sense the slight tremors when they walked, and to smell any odd odors when they breathed. At the same time, they spread out their divine senses to cover their surroundings, attaining completion in all aspects of scouting. Time flowed little by little, but this forest did not seem to have any end. Five minutes have already gone by, there seems to be something wrong. Hei Lulan stopped and solemnly asked Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan nodded, saying in a deep voice, Indeed, we have already been in Starry Sky Grotto Heaven for some time now but haven't actually encountered a single wild beast. There are only trees or fog. Whether we go up the mountain or down, or move in any direction, things all look the same. Hey Lu Lan looked up, let's fly. The two carefully flew up. The green sky was completely empty, if the two flew high up, they would be very conspicuous and it would be extremely easy for them to be discovered by beast groups and get surrounded. Thus for safety purposes, Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan had chosen to move along the ground. Right now, the two took the risk to attempt flying, but the result was disappointing. The higher they flew up, the thicker the fog became. Finally, the fog became so thick that they could not even see their own fingers. Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan's investigative methods were greatly restricted in this fog. The two discussed and chose to be cautious, not willing to continue taking this risk, they descended to the ground. Has the starry sky heavenly spirit already begun to target us? Hei Lu Lan guessed. The situation here, if it is not a unique law of the grotto heaven, then it is an illusion, quietly disturbing our sense of direction and obstructing our true senses. Unfortunately, I don't have any investigative killer moves. Fang Yuan replied. Don't you have wisdom path methods? Wisdom path is also specialized in resolving these kinds of circumstances. Hei Lu Lan asked while frowning. Fang Yuan shook his head, I indeed have some wisdom path methods, but they are rather special, they cannot deduce directions. How about you, do you have any investigative killer moves? Hei Lu Lan snorted lightly and raised her two delicate fists, I don't have any investigative killer moves, but I do have offensive killer moves. Self-strength. She suddenly punched out with her two fists, sending out majestic fist chi. The fist chi surged all around and rapidly condensed into strength path phantoms. These strength path phantoms had fat bodies like bears with triangular eyes and jagged teeth. It was the male shape Hei Lu Lan had disguised as before. Fang Yuan took a few steps back to give Hei Lu Lan sufficient space. These strength path phantoms pounced at Hei Lu Lan's main body. The phantoms merged together and soon covered Hei Lu Lan, forming a giant strength path phantom. This killer move had astonishing might, Hei Lu Lan had used it before in northern plains to destroy the flying bear phantom. She again raised a fist. The giant fist ruthlessly smashed at an ancient tree on the side. The thick and sturdy ancient tree immediately broke into two, the lower half remained at the ground but was shaking intensely, the soil around it splattered to reveal the tree roots. The upper half was directly sent flying, cutting through the wind as it collided with another ancient tree, smashing two to three branches. Boom boom boom. Hei Lu Lan punched and kicked, the heavy punches and kicks shook the earth, stones flew, trees toppled down and the fog dispersed. Fang Yuan flew into the sky, his sight was now much more clear. He saw this forest only had the range of a hundred li, he and Hei Lu Lan had been moving in a circle. Outside of this forest, he saw a scene abundant in nature and life, the wild beasts roaming around, the cries of birds and insects, the gurgling of streams and wild flowers swaying with the wind. It seems this forest itself was special, it should be an extinct tree species. Your information source is somewhat dubious, our entry was actually in this forest. The giant strength path phantom transmitted its divine sense to communicate with Fang Yuan. Even Fang Yuan, with his plentiful experiences from his previous life and broad vision, 
did not recognize the origin of this kind of tree. He gave a bitter laugh and changed the topic, after the trees became sparse, this forest no longer has the bewilderment effect. We should take some and plant it in our own blessed lands, maybe we can make some profits. There was absolutely no issue with the information source. Because he himself was the information supplier. In his previous life, Starry Sky Grotto Heaven had shattered into many parts which then fell toward Central Continent. When Fang Yuan had sent people to explore the Grotto Heaven's fragment world, this forest was already in a different shape, much of it had been damaged and thus it did not show any special effects. This was an warning to Fang Yuan, although he had previous life's memories, however he had come early to Starry Sky Grotto Heaven in this life, the situation was different, and he could not blindly rely on these memories. The giant strength path phantom gazed at these ancient trees, even if you had not said it, I intended to do it. When the two had just taken four to five trees, a dog-shaped desolate beast charged down from the top of the mountain. The dog-shaped desolate beast growled, not concealing the fierce glare of its eyes as it looked directly at Hei Lu Lan. Hei Lu Lan's strength path phantom giant was not concealed by the trees and was exceptionally conspicuous. Fang Yuan looked at the source of the growl and saw the desolate beast. Its body was as large as a small hill, and glossy azure fur covered it. Whether it was its head, stomach, back, tail or its limbs, they were all covered with star-shaped stripes. These stripes were emitting faint blue radiance. Fang Yuan recognized this beast with just one glance, immediately reminding Hei Lu Lan, this is a star desolate hound, it should be this mountain's overlord. Let's check how powerful the desolate beasts in Starry Sky Grotto Heaven are. If it is weak, don't kill it, it is best if we capture it alive, I have other uses for it. Hei Lu Lan frowned. She had an extreme physique strength path immortal body and possessed several great strength path immortal goo, it was not difficult for her to kill a desolate beast, but she still had some difference between the level of capturing a desolate beast alive. However, Fang Yuan continued, you take the lead, I will support. Decided according to the situation, if we can really capture it alive, I will use immortal essence stones to pay you. All right, then let's do it like that. Hei Lu Lan was not an irresolute person, with a loud shout, the giant strength path phantom took large and loud steps as it charged towards the star desolate hound. The star desolate hound fiercely charged down from above and pounced at the giant strength path phantom. Hei Lu Lan was not to be outdone and immediately punched and kicked, clashing with the star desolate hound. The two huge figures rolled down from partway up the mountain towards the foot, like a rolling gourd. It was like a giant compactor had steamrolled through a path, as the trees were toppled, protruding boulders were smashed and beast and birds who had not time to escape were crushed into paste. Fang Yuan flapped his bat wings and flew down. Eight lumps of starlight condensed separately on his eight monstrous claws, but they did not crash down yet. Hei Lu Lan's giant strength path phantom was rolling and turning around at times as it clashed with the star desolate hound, like a rolling wheel. The fight was fierce but the situation was still not decided, the attacks moved so quickly that even an old demon like Fang Yuan was not able to find an opportunity to interfere. Rumble Dust flew up, the giant phantom and the desolate beast rolled down to the foot of the mountain before finally stopping. The star desolate hound fiercely pounced on the giant phantom. It raised its head and opened its mouth, revealing the snow-white canines that were as sharp as swords and long as halberds, and bit down. Fang Yuan saw the chance, his eight arms moved and the eight lumps of starlight that had accumulated enough energy slammed down. Bam bam bam. A series of explosions resounded, the star desolate hound furiously barked, its attack was interrupted. The giant hound head shook in every direction, flinging off the starlight lumps. However, Hei Lu Lan obtained the critical opportunity due to this, letting out a fierce attack. The giant strength path phantom bent its knee and fiercely struck a crucial part between the star desolate hound's rear legs. Howl! 
The star desolate hound immediately let out an extremely painful cry, its giant body fiercely jumped like it had been electrocuted and bounced around in the lush forest. Fong Yuan immediately fluttered over, not giving the star desolate hound any time to recover. He flapped his wings in the sky, moving nimbly like a fly as he threw down lumps of starlight right at the star desolate hound's vital areas like eyes, mouth and anus. The star desolate hound bounced around everywhere but it was gradually not able to hide from Fong Yuan's crafty attacks and started to whine in pain. The star desolate hound had defensive wild goo on it. But facing a killer move like Icy Drill Stardust, a defense from ordinary wild goo would not work, instead the defensive goo would rapidly die when facing Icy Drill Stardust. Hei Lu Lan controlled her giant strength path phantom and stood up. As expected of a desolate beast. Hei Lu Lan sighed in her heart. Read latest. OV. LS at N. V slash E slash L slash by. Dot com. The strength path killer move that had never failed her before was actually not able to resist the tyrannical strength of the star desolate hound. Especially this giant strength path phantom, which was the pinnacle transformation of her killer move, and yet was actually not a match against the star desolate hound in terms of strength. Since that is the case, then let me use self strength immortal goo. Hei Lu Lan gave a sinister smile and was about to attack. Suddenly, familiar barks came down from the nearby two mountain peaks. Shortly afterwards, two female star desolate hounds charged into Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan's sight. Fang Yuan's movements slowed down, Hei Lu Lan's pupils shrunk, and as if they had identical thoughts in mind, they transmitted the same message to each other, run. Chapter 715 Diamond Soil. Three star desolate hounds chased, as Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan retreated along the way. It was not that they could not defeat the three desolate beasts, but they would have to engage in fierce combat and expend a lot of effort to defeat them. As Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan were inside an unfamiliar environment like Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, they would not want to fight with their full strength randomly especially not against these desolate beasts which they had met by chance, only a fool would do such a thing. Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan were experienced schemers, this trip of exploring Starry Sky Grotto Heaven needed to be handled with caution, they had to preserve their battle strength to deal with unexpected situations. Especially when the heavenly spirit of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven had not shown itself yet. The heavenly spirit controlled all aspects of the Grotto Heaven, when Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan entered, they would have been detected already. Fang Yuan led the way, flapping his wings continuously, he was extremely fast. He did not dare to fly at high altitude, he only flew near the ground. Hei Lu Lan was much slower than Fang Yuan, she was behind him as she deeply looked at his wings, thinking and comparing in her heart, Fang Yuan's current speed is not outstanding, I can reach it. But he can move and maneuver so agilely and precisely, he can swerve around the branches of the trees so freely. After nearly ten li of flying, the three star desolate hounds behind them stopped and gave up on Hei Lu Lan and Fang Yuan, no longer chasing them. The two stopped at a tall tree and took a small rest to recover. Fang Yuan stood on the crown of the tree, trying to decipher their direction, the surrounding mountains were not far from each other yet they were independent and distinct. Some mountain peaks had green pines growing on them. Some had only shrubs. Some had no trees and only had weeds and wild flowers, all these were man-made arrangements, nature would not have made things so organized. Fang Yuan could tell. The owner of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, Seven Star Child, had categorized these mountain peaks into independent areas to nurture different vegetation. This way, he could raise the productivity of specialized products. It seems that the owner of this grotto heaven had spent quite some effort on managing it. Hei Lu Lan walked over, standing beside Fang Yuan and observing the area. Fang Yuan instead frowned. This landscape was simply too different from the one in his memories. Did that mean that hundreds of years later, 
there would be a huge change to Starry Sky Grotto Heaven's terrain, causing it to be completely different after it broke apart and collapsed. This way, Fang Yuan's previous life's memories could not give him any precious help. Hei Lu Lan directed her gaze towards the small bat wings on Fang Yuan's back, asking with great interest, Your killer move is not bad, where did you buy it? According to the Snowy Mountain Alliance, Fang Yuan could not lie to Hei Lu Lan, but he could choose to not talk about it. However, true solid bat wings was an ordinary technique of Fang Yuan's, he did not need to hide it. He answered plainly, this killer move is based on an improvement of my previous killer move, suited for my immortal zombie body. If you want to use it, you will need to transplant a pair of bat wings onto your back. Hei Lu Lan heard this and frowned, though not because she was concerned over destroying her image, she pursued strength, the body of a desolate beast is also an immortal body. Just like the bodies of us Gu immortals, their bodies contain Tao marks and are closer to certain laws. Your pair of bat wings should not have the Tao marks of strength path, they are closer to wind path. Transplanting them casually like this, are you not afraid that there would be a conflict between strength path and wind path, resulting in your strength path killer moves weakening? Fang Yuan chuckled, you know about how reckless savage demon venerable can transform into all sorts of fierce beasts, right? Of course. Reckless savage demon venerable created transformation path, he was the progenitor of transformation path. Hei Lu Lan answered. The essence of transformation path is to transform one's own body into a fierce beast or plant, and obtain their strength and abilities at the same time. A transformation path Gu Master can become a wind path bird, fire path tiger, or water path fish, using just one path to project countless paths. Why do their Tao marks not interfere with one another? Fang Yuan asked. Transformation path Gu Masters who solely transformed their bodies had not truly ventured into transformation path. A truly successful transformation was not only changing one's appearance, but also gaining the beast's respective Tao marks. Gu immortals who become desolate beasts not only have the strength, defense, and speed of the desolate beast itself, they can even amplify the effect of Gu worms in their respective paths. That is because, every time they transform, they will turn into a single fierce beast, they would only have one type of Tao mark on their bodies, it is unlike you who has two types of Tao marks mixing together, like a Gu master trying to cultivate two paths. Furthermore, after they transform, they will use their relevant Gu worms to cleanse their bodies, removing all of their current Tao marks, before they can transform into a fierce beast which has another Tao mark. Hei Lu Lan said. Fang Yuan laughed arrogantly, no, that is because they are not good enough yet, their methods are lacking. Reckless savage demon Venerable was not like this, he ate immemorial desolate beasts and formed desolate beast totems on his body, encompassing countless Tao marks in his body, allowing him to transform at will. When you were undergoing your tribulation, I obtained the true meaning infusions of the demon Venerable, I have already become a transformation path master. Hei Lu Lan was truly shocked, that is to say, you obtained pointers from reckless savage demon Venerable, you have a method to balance different Tao marks. Fang Yuan nodded, but shook his head soon after, I am only at master realm, I can only balance three different Tao marks. I am also limited by physical transplantation and other restrictions, true solid bat wings can only have up to three pairs of wings, that is the greatest display of my current transformation path master realm attainment. Hei Lu Lan heard Fang Yuan's words and gained much interest in true solid bat wings, sell this movement killer move to me, I will purchase it at a high price. Fang Yuan shook his head, rejecting her. He had modified this killer move after much effort, it was his unique method, how could he give it to someone else? Unless he no longer needed it in the future, then he would consider selling the simplified version. Hei Lu Lan was slightly disappointed that Fang Yuan rejected her, but she was not surprised. If their roles were swapped, she would have rejected him as well. Fang Yuan did not lack immortal essence stones currently. 
I finally understand why you want to kill star demon bats now. What does your information say? A star demon bat is nearby. Hey Lu Lan asked. Fang Yuan nodded, from my information, it is close by. But the terrain here is slightly different, let's look around first. He had surveyed for a long time, but he could not confirm the location. The place in his memory was a rotten swamp with poisonous air. But here, there were mountains independent of each other, how could there be a rotten swamp? Two hours later. Two figures were attacking a desolate beast. This desolate beast's body was transparent, like it was made of diamond, its figure resembled a bear, but it was as large as a mammoth, it was a diamond bear that was rarely seen in the five regions. It was Hei Lu Lan and Fang Yuan fighting the diamond bear. Take this. Fang Yuan flew in the air, his eight arms were moving around as they sent out lumps of starlight specks. The diamond bear stood up, waving its paws and smashing the starlight completely. Hei Lu Lan transformed into the strength path phantom giant again, she raised her leg and kicked at the diamond bear's belly. Read latest. OV. LS at N. V slash E slash L slash by. Dot, com. The diamond bear growled as its diamond like body shined, Hey Lu Lan's giant strength path phantom's right leg broke. This diamond bear's body contains wild goo worms that counter my strength path giant. Hey Lu Lan was shocked, retreating immediately. Killer moves were not invincible. They had weaknesses and could be countered. But the diamond bear did not want to let Hei Lu Lan go, it pounced in her direction. Fang Yuan saw this and immediately rushed over, the starlight lumps in his hands were shot out more quickly, like the pelting of raindrops. At once, the diamond bear was unable to raise its head from the attacks. Here's a big one, enjoy it. Fang Yuan raised four of his arms up, summoning a huge icy drill stardust lump that he threw it down. With a loud explosion, the entire diamond bear was covered by the icy drill stardust. The diamond bear was assaulted by the stardust, it growled in pain, it had become greatly angered. Boom! At the next moment, it charged out of the starlight lump, flying into the sky. This bear could fly. Fang Yuan was the closest to it, Caught off guard, he was hit by the diamond bear's raised paws. Bam! At the next moment, Fang Yuan was like a cannonball, he flew out, crashing into dozens of large trees before stopping. His zombie blood was pouring out, with two of the arms used to block the bear paw having been cut off, and three were fractured. Fang Yuan's mouth twitched, accidents were bound to happen when fighting desolate beasts. Desolate beasts were not like goo immortals, they did not have much intelligence, but as for which wild goo they had in their bodies, one could not tell upon first contact. Like earlier, the diamond bear actually dispelled Hei Lu Lan's strength path phantom and flew into the air, causing heavy injuries to Fang Yuan. Only after suffering some injuries did Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan learn that the diamond bear had very powerful goo worms on it, not only were there goo worms that countered the strength path phantom, it even had flying goo that could raise such a heavy body into the air. Retreat! Fang Yuan shouted to Hei Lu Lan. Hei Lu Lan had the intention to retreat already, she stopped her killer move and escaped with Fang Yuan. The diamond bear did not chase after them, it picked up Fang Yuan's two arms and placed them into its mouth, chewing. Crack! Crack. The diamond bear's teeth were sharp, they easily broke Fang Yuan's immortal zombie arms. It continued to chew, turning the arms into minced meat. The green zombie blood flowed out from the space between the diamond bear's teeth, and an intense stench spread out. The diamond bear swallowed the zombie meat with a weird expression, but it immediately opened its mouth and vomited the food that it had just eaten. What a terrible taste. The diamond bear had a constipated expression as it looked at Fang Yuan's remaining arm with disgust, 
slamming it into a mountain rock before moving back to its cave that was at the mountain peak grumpily. A moment later, Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan sneakily returned. Fang Yuan picked up the amputated arm, after verifying it, he placed it at a wound on his body. He used healing goo worms, and with the recovery ability of the immortal zombie, the amputated arm quickly connected to his wound. As for the remaining arm, it was chewed up by the diamond bear, Fang Yuan could not use it, he sighed and had to regenerate it himself. The immortal zombie body was not a mortal body, to regrow limbs, six to eight hours were needed. This was not simply a regrowth of body parts, the relevant strength path Dao marks had to be replenished. Hei Lu Lan looked at the cave entrance at the highest point of the mountain, in that cave, there are at least 15 kilograms of diamond soil left. Diamond soil was formed from the feces of the diamond bear, it was filled with rich nutrients, and was one of the soils that could be sold for a high price in treasure yellow heaven. Not long ago, Fang Yuan had come to this mountain peak with Hei Lu Lan. While Fang Yuan attracted the bear out of the cave, Hei Lu Lan sneaked in and took hundreds of kilograms of diamond soil, they were worth at least thirty immortal essence stones. Fang Yuan shook his head, fifteen kilograms of diamond soil is not worth the risk. The first time was fine, but if we try a second time, with even more animosity, the diamond bear might not let us off. The diamond bear is sturdy and tough, we will need to pay a huge price to kill it. My goal is the star demon bat, since it is not in this direction, let's try another direction. Chapter 716, Star Hall Half a day later, Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan had almost searched through this area and seen many desolate beasts, but did not come across the star demon bat. Your information seems to be somewhat unreliable. Hei Lu Lan casually sat down on the ground and said while healing her wounds. There was a long, bloody wound on her left arm which stretched from the back of her palm to her elbow. This was the mark left behind from the encounter of Hei Lu Lan and Fang Yuan with a desolate beast flying sword rat. Read latest. OV. LS at N. V slash E slash L slash by. Dot, com. The flying sword rat was small and extremely fast, a bit of carelessness resulted in it slashing its claws at them. Even if Hei Lu Lan had the great strength true martial physique, having a strength path extreme immortal body, she had to struggle to heal this wound. This was because the wound the flying sword rat caused was filled with Dao marks of metal path, which were repelling the strength path Dao marks of Hei Lu Lan's immortal body, and resisting the extreme immortal body's recovery ability. A long while later, Hei Lu Lan was able to heal the wound and a thin layer of scab had formed on top of it. She went up to Fang Yuan, Fang Yuan was sitting on the ground, using his iron-sharp fingernails to draw the outline of the terrain they had explored on a flat rock. There were dozens of green mountain peaks. Most of the green peaks were the territory of a desolate beast, like the star desolate hound, flying sword rat, diamond bear, and so on. The mountain peaks with no desolate beasts had large numbers of beast groups as well as a sea of goo worms living together. Seven Star Child had clearly invested a great amount of effort to manage Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, only then could such dense numbers of desolate beasts survive in this piece of territory. However, the strange thing was there were no ancient desolate beasts. Ancient desolate beasts were comparable in battle strength to a rank 7, according to common sense, there should be ancient desolate beasts in this outstandingly managed Starry Sky Grotto Heaven. This was only one of the strange aspects. The second strange aspect was that the heavenly spirit had still not shown itself. Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan had explored all around and encountered many fights, but were able to smoothly free themselves. Strictly speaking, they were invaders, but this starry sky grotto heaven was behaving as if it had no heavenly spirit to manage it, and the suppression Fang Yuan had expected did not appear. The third strange thing was that Fang Yuan could not find the poisonous swamp no matter where he searched. According to his previous life's memories, 
the area he was in right now was the same as the small fragment world of the original Grotto Heaven, which he had sent his subordinates to explore in his previous life. Originally, the poisonous swamp should have been near that ancient tree forest, but Fang Yuan was not able to find it. Could it be that the poisonous swamp is part of the terrain that only appears after several hundred years? I came here this early, thus I am not able to find it. If that is the case, my plan to hunt Star Demon Bat will end in failure. Fang Yuan stared at the diagram of the terrain on the rock, and was pondering everything when suddenly a bright light shot out. He and He Lu Lan raised their heads at the same time and looked at the green sky, unknowingly, the sky was filled with countless star specks. The amount of this starlight grew rapidly and continued to grow. In a blink of an eye, the starlight filled the whole world, drifting in disorderly fashion like snow. This is an astronomical change that occurs only in grotto heavens. Fang Yuan stood up with an alert gaze, activating lion fur armor. Hei Lu Lan also activated her defensive killer move with a vigilant mind. The bright starlight shone on all living beings, beast roars resounded from each mountain peak, some clear, some crisp, some long and some hoarse. Wind surged, the endless specks of starlight suddenly converged on top of a mountain. After a dazzling blue radiance was sent out, the star specks dispersed and a resplendent giant hall, exquisite and gorgeous, appeared on the mountain peak. This hall. Fang Yuan's pupils enlarged, as he felt a great sense of familiarity with the structure of the hall. It clearly resembled the ruins that had been left behind in the shattered worlds of the Grotto Heaven, which had spread everywhere during his previous life. It was only that the former ruins now showed no trace of damage. Fang Yuan and He Lu Lan glanced at each other, He Lu Lan guessed, did the astronomical change occur due to some specific timing and result in the appearance of the hall? Or did the heavenly spirit intentionally set up a trap to lure us in? Fang Yuan eyes flashed with bright light. The two only hesitated for a moment before deciding to go in the star hall. At the same time, in another area of starry sky grotto heaven. An intense battle was nearing its climax. Foul beast, take this king's fist. A rockman that was as tall as a hill shouted as it smashed down its fist, wind surged and even the air burst. The desolate beast flying bear could not dodge in time, its head was struck by the giant stone fist and with a loud sound, it crashed down on the ground, smashing a large crater. Stones and soil flew all around, dust surged up and the earth shook for a while. The rocky giant did not stop, it spread open its two fists then smashed down from high up. Bam! The two palms heavily smashed at the flying bear's thick, snow-white body. The flying bear tried to budge but it was not able to let out even a cry. It was already filled with injuries, the punch just before had cracked its skull and caused it to be on the brink of losing consciousness. Immortal killer move, Earth's root. From the center of his two palms, Earth Chi bubbled, and countless thick and sharp earth spikes protruded out from the ground like spears. Plop. The desolate beast flying bear was pierced through instantly by hundreds of earth spikes. In its last burst of energy, it raised its head, opened its eyes and let out a mournful cry before its energy was completely spent, its body stiffened and its head fell back down to the ground. Dong! A sound like that of a drum being struck resounded, with dust rising and falling. An intense scent of hot blood erupted, as it flowed down the stone pillar and quickly dyed the ground red. The flying bear was dead. The rocky giant snorted, it suddenly emitted a piercing light. After the light dispersed, a goo immortal proudly stood in the air while crossing his arms. He had short white hair, a pair of golden pupils, broad shoulders and a thin waist. He wore a tight-fitting combat uniform and a valiant aura was emitted from him. A ray of starlight shot over, transforming into a middle-aged man. He was wearing a long robe with wide sleeves and a high hat on his head. He clapped his hands and praised, as expected of Lord Immortal Monkey King, killing the desolate beast flying bear in just three minutes. 
The white-haired man with golden pupils was a rank 7 Gu Immortal of Combat Immortal Sect, Immortal Monkey King Shirley. Shirley looked at the middle-aged man with an indifferent gaze, seven star halls have already appeared, Star Lord Wan Xiang, the eighth star hall you spoke of, why has it still not opened? This middle-aged man was Star Lord Wan Xiang, who had traded with Fang Yuan several times. Star Lord Wan Xiang gave a bright smile, Immortal Monkey King, there's no need to worry. We can only make the eighth star hall appear when we have killed enough desolate beasts and let their blood seep into the ground. We have already killed six desolate beasts but the amount of blood is still not enough. How much more desolate beasts should we kill exactly? Shirley asked impatiently. Star Lord Wan Xiang revealed a thoughtful expression and said after a pause, according to my annual explorations over the past twenty years and my own speculations, we probably only need to kill one more desolate beast. Humph. You better not deceive me. Shirley replied in an overbearing manner. Star Lord Wan Xiang lowered his head, I am just a lone cultivator, even if I had ten times the guts, I would not dare to deceive Lord Immortal Monkey King. Based on Central Continent's time, I can only forcibly break into this star path Grotto Heaven during this point of the year. Moreover, the duration we can stay is only two days, after these two days, the small opening leading to the Grotto Heaven will close up and we won't be able to exit. Why would I deceive you when time is so limited? I also want to plunder more resources, but several years ago, I accidentally saw the Eighth Star Hall, that hall was covered in a foreboding atmosphere. The guards of the Star Hall were all ancient desolate beasts, it definitely is the central control point of this grotto heaven and it is very likely for the heavenly spirit to be there. Shirley nodded, he believed Star Lord Wan Xiang's words. He has known Star Lord Wan Xiang for some time and was familiar with the latter's nature. Sai, if not because I had a huge battle with Song Zixing and spent large numbers of immortal essence, and that I urgently require large amounts of immortal essence stones to covert into immortal essence due to my blessed land's approaching tribulation, I would not have told such a huge secret to you. Star Lord Wan Xiang sighed. Shirley's tone softened, don't worry, I will abide by the agreement. 80% of this exploration's battle spoils will go to you while I take 20%. Also, I will not tell anyone else about this secret. Later, we will come to explore this grotto heaven every year. Right now, only Star Lord Wan Xiang had the special method to enter Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, Shirley still had not grasped the method. Lord Shirley has an outstanding reputation, I can be at ease. According to my past explorations, there is a star demon bat not far away and it is rather easy to kill. Alright, let's go there. Old rules, when fighting, you stand to the side, don't interfere. Shirley was very decisive and immediately started flying rapidly towards the destination. Star Lord Wan Xiang laughed bitterly while hurriedly following behind. Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan cautiously entered the star hall. This star hall had no defenses, there was no one inside, only six large wells in the center of the main hall. Water was surging inside these six large wells. The water in the wells were of different colors, red, brown, yellow, blue, purple and white. The well water was glittering and translucent, and emitted slight radiance. Hei Lulan and Fang Yuan used investigative goo worms to completely check them. Their discovery was that the well water, the star hall, everything was as normal as they could be. This was naturally impossible. How could an ordinary hall appear out of thin air? How could ordinary well water be of different colors and emit light? The only explanation was that the six well waters in this star hall were related to the Grotto Heaven's astronomical transformations. If so, the mortal investigative goo of Hei Lu Lan and Fang Yuan were not of high enough level to investigate anything. The two were unable to distinguish the mysteries of the six wells, and fell into a predicament for a while. This color. Hei Lu Lan observed again and could not help mumbling. Fang Yuan knew what she was thinking. He remembered when they had just arrived in Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, 
he had looked at the sky. He saw the shadows of six stars in the sky, they were as large as the full moon and were easy to notice. These six star shadows were the colors of red, brown, yellow, blue, purple and white, the same as these six waters in the wells. What connection do they have? Fan Yuan mumbled and sent a mortal storage goo inside a well to take out some of the water to study. However, when the mortal goo entered the well water, the tranquil and calm well water suddenly moved and formed a whirlpool, swallowing the mortal goo. Chapter 717 Killing Star Demon Bat The well water quickly settled down, there were no ripples, it was shining brightly. But the mortal goo that Fang Yuan tossed in had completely vanished into the water. Fang Yuan knew that his mortal goo had not been destroyed yet, because he could still sense its existence. But this connection was very weak now. The connection between a goo master and goo worm had much to do with distance. The further the goo worm is from the goo master, the weaker their connection. In that case, when a goo master uses the goo, their mind would send orders, if they gave ten orders, nine might be missed and the goo worm would only execute one. Of course, this was in ordinary cases. A small portion of goo worms could maintain a strong connection over a huge distance, they could be easily activated even if they were far away. Some goo worms were even more peculiar, the closer they were to the goo master, the weaker their connection, creating distance between them could improve their connection instead. Fang Yuan originally had a close connection to the mortal goo, but now the feeling was much weaker, it was like the two were very far apart. Fang Yuan followed the connection in his mind, slowly deducing the direction and raising his head. All he saw was the top of the walls in the star hall. Fang Yuan activated his investigative goo, in his field of vision, the roof of the star hall became translucent. Fang Yuan's gaze pierced through the roof of the star hall, seeing the six huge circular star shadows in the green sky. He felt a sensation in his mind, his gaze remained on one of the star shadows. According to the remaining connection he had, he knew that the mortal goo was on top of that star shadow. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. The star demon bat's huge wings whipped up fierce winds as countless arrows shot out at the same time. No. Haptors will be fully updated at nov l slash bin dot com. These arrows were all made of starlight, they flew very quickly, piercing the air. Their numbers were high, flying towards immortal monkey King Shirley like a storm. Seeing the large scale attack, Shirley scoffed in disdain, merely ranked two star arrow goo, except the numbers are a bit high. Mortal killer move. Fallen Gray Cloak. Shirley's body shook, as a thin layer of yellow white smoke and dust covered him. He did not dodge, he allowed the arrows to land on his body. No matter how many star arrows came, they dissipated after coming into contact with the mortal killer move Fallen Gray Cloak, vanishing in an instant. The star demon bat lacked intelligence, it could not use killer moves. Although the scale of the wild goo on its body was large, it could not use goo in great quantity. How could such an attack compare to a killer move that a human cultivator came up with painstakingly? This time, look at my eagle transformation. Shirley shouted, his body shining in a bright golden light. As the light dissipated, Shirley had vanished, in his place was a desolate beast iron crown eagle. The Iron Crown Eagle spread its wings, flying in the air, its sharp claws that resembled steel gave off an imposing aura. The size of its body was not any smaller than the Star Demon Bat. Far away, Star Lord Wan Xiang quietly observed the battle, seeing this, he sighed helplessly. Immortal Monkey King Shirley was a battle maniac, he refused to fight together in each of these battles. Up to this point, Shirley had already killed eleven desolate beasts. Every time he fought a desolate beast, he would use a different type of transformation path killer move, to fight using the body of different desolate beasts. Star Lord Wan Xiang was anxious about the time, he had urged Shirley to use his strongest methods. But Shirley rejected him, 
saying that he wanted to use this opportunity to accumulate transformation path battle experience, he did not want to waste any chance he had. By accumulating his foundations, he would eventually trigger a qualitative change, elevating his transformation path realm. The Iron Crown Eagle flew for a while, before screeching and pouncing towards the Star Demon Bat. The Star Demon Bat was also screeching, its ruthless nature was awakened as it did not evade, it flapped its wings and collided with the Iron Crown Eagle. Two huge winged figures were clashing in the sky violently. The Star Demon Bat bit with its mouth, while the Iron Crown Eagle attacked with its beak. The Star Demon Bat scratched with its claws, but the Iron Crown Eagle's talons were just as sharp, they were evenly matched. The two had exchanged many blows within a moment, they left many injures on each other's body. After a while, they pulled some distance between them. The Star Demon Bat shrieked loudly in a self-satisfied manner. The Iron Crown Eagle that Shirley had transformed into had lost most of its feathers, it flapped its wings and after much effort, it stabilized its body. In the battle earlier, the Iron Crown Eagle had suffered a loss, while the Star Demon Bat had the upper hand. Not only were most of its feathers gone, there was an injury on its stomach, filled with star path down marks, it bled continuously and prevented the Iron Crown Eagle's body from healing naturally. Desolate beasts were different from Gu Immortals. Gu Immortals had weak bodies, their strength rested in Gu Worms. Even if strength path Gu Immortals made their bodies extremely strong, it was still from the effects of Gu Worms. Meanwhile, the strength of desolate beasts was in their own bodies. Desolate beasts have strength, defense, and other attributes from birth, this was something humans could only dream of. Especially when a desolate beast gets closer to nature during their growth, and develops more Tao marks on their bodies. When they fight in battle, the injuries that desolate beasts cause will have Tao marks lingering. Injuries involving Tao marks were very hard to get rid of, not only did they resist the body's self-healing, they also hindered the use and effect of healing goo. Of course, if the desolate beast had an immortal goo, the situation would be completely different. The Iron Crown Eagle shrieked, ignoring its injures and pouncing towards the Star Demon Bat. The two met in the sky again, after several attacks, the Star Demon Bat found an opening and flapped its wings quickly, slamming on the Iron Crown Eagle's head. The Iron Crown Eagle went into a daze, falling towards the ground. The Star Demon Bat flew in the air, flapping its wings thrice at the Iron Crown Eagle. The first one caused an intense wind to blow, as thousands of wind blades shot out. The second caused a burst of starlight, over 10,000 star arrows flew out. The third caused darkness to gather, forming a giant specter that charged towards the Iron Crown Eagle. The Iron Crown Eagle first crashed onto the ground, causing rocks to fly and a crater to form. Next, after it raised its head, it was cut by the wind blades. The Iron Crown Eagle shrieked, it endured the attacks and did not retreat, after enduring the wind blade attacks, it had hundreds of light wounds on its body. It wanted to flap its wings, but the star arrows flew over. These arrows had extraordinary strength, they pierced into the Iron Crown Eagle's body and caused many wounds, but those were not deep. Next, that spectre which had no solid body drilled into the Iron Crown Eagle's mind. If it was any ordinary desolate beast, they would have been in trouble, but this Iron Crown Eagle was Shirley's transformation. Shirley snorted coldly, thoughts and wills moved in his head, destroying the spectre in the blink of an eye. Although he was an Earth Path Gu immortal who also cultivated transformation path, he was an established expert. He was a veteran Gu immortal, he learned a lot about many other paths and had a set of complete defensive measures against Gu worms of other paths. Lord Immortal Monkey King At the side, Star Lord Wan Xiang shouted in concern. The Iron Crown Eagle spoke human words, laughing loudly, don't interfere, stay at the side, this is my battle. Intense fire seemed to be burning in the eagle's eyes, with much determination, Shirley flapped his wings and flew up, 
towards the star demon bat, but was sent flying. Bang, with a loud sound, the eagle crashed on the ground again. Good, interesting. Shi Lei shouted, he got more excited as he fought, ignoring his injuries, he rushed up again. He was fighting with something he was not familiar with, in terms of close combat, how could he be the star demon bat's match? In their fight, he quickly fell into a disadvantage. But every time Shirley lost, he would battle again, the eagle's head would rise up highly, and the eagle eyes would always stare at its opponent. This maniac. Star Lord Wan Xiang watched with a grimacing expression. Shirley obviously had defensive moves like Fallen Grey Cloak, but after transforming into the Iron Crown Eagle, he did not use any of them in battle. This had happened many times in his previous battles as well. Star Lord Wan Xiang had asked earlier, but Shirley's answer was that he was purposely not using them, it was to experience the joy of battle with his own body, this would be the most effective way to raise his battle foundation. Shirley was a battle addict, he was a fierce man who derived pleasure from fighting. Again. Shirley shouted, flapping his wings towards the star demon bat. The two sides got closer rapidly, seeing that they were about to collide, the star demon bat suddenly flapped its wings, displaying an incredible flying ability, passing the iron crown eagle narrowly. Whoosh! The star demon bat suddenly breathed out a shooting star, hitting the iron crown eagle's back. The iron crown eagle spat out some blood, its body shook as it had to flap its wings to stabilize itself. Next, Star Lord Wan Xiang heard Shi Lei laughing, interesting, bullying my flying attainment which is only master level. Saying so, he flapped his wings and rushed up. The star demon bat did not take the attack directly, it retreated while using star path, wind path, or dark path goo worms to attack its enemy from far away. The two had fought for a long time, unknowingly, the star demon bat's body was filled with injuries. These injuries all had metal path dao marks, they could not heal any time soon. Of course, the injuries on the iron crown eagle were at least twice as severe as the star demon bat. But Shi Lei fought crazily, it struck fear in the star demon bat, this dominating desolate beast that ruled over a mountain felt some apprehension and did not dare to fight directly. The star demon bat's intelligence was low, what it was doing was giving on its advantage and fighting with its weakness. It had mortal goo on it, although they could disturb Shirley, they were not as dangerous to him as fighting at close range. The Iron Crown Eagle did not use any defensive methods as usual, but its aura was surging as it dodged left and right, finally getting close to the star demon bat. After shrieking loudly, the eagle claw grasped downwards at it. The star demon bat dodged agilely, but Shirley found an opening. In terms of flying attainment, the star demon bat which had been flying its entire life was at least a flying grandmaster. The star demon bat pulled some distance, using goo worms to attack at a range, while the iron crown eagle tried to get close to engage in close combat with it. In this fashion, the two fought for a while, the star demon bat was bound to mess up at some point, finally, the iron crown eagle found a flaw and used its eagle claws to tear the bat wings. With a hole in the bat wings, the star demon bat's flying ability fell drastically. Before it could adapt to the injury, the Iron Crown Eagle found even more flaws. Shi Lei pursued it during this prime opportunity, after enduring the Star Demon Bat's final struggle, he killed it. The Star Demon Bat landed on the ground, its blood was pouring like a river. The ground absorbed the blood, just like what Star Lord Wan Xiang said, a formless energy had been activated. In the sky, starlight appeared again. Chapter 718, Starshine Fake Igu The specks of starlight coiled around and fluttered for a while before gathering high up in the air and forming a completely new star hall. Different from the previous star halls, this star hall was floating in the air, its design was exquisite, 
giving off a majestic beauty that was far above those star halls on the mountains. The eighth star hall has finally appeared. My speculation was indeed correct. Star Lord Wan Xiang spoke with excitement. Shi Lei cancelled the Iron Crown Eagle transformation and returned to his human form. The injuries on his body were still recovering, the blood flow had yet to stop. He indifferently glanced at the sky with his golden pupils, no wonder you guessed that this was the Grotto Heaven's central control point, looking at its appearance, it is very likely to be that. He grimaced in pain and sat down, healing the wounds. His healing was in no way simple, he first used large numbers of goo worms to eliminate the Tao marks of Star Path, Wind Path, Dark Path and other paths that had filled the wounds, only then did he use healing goo worms which showed visible effects. Star Lord Wan Xiang waited for a little while and when he saw Shi Lei's injuries were roughly treated, he finally could not endure and urged him, your healing is almost done right? Time is limited, Lord Immortal Monkey King. The prerequisite for the eighth star hall to appear is that the other seven star halls should be formed first. Every time the seven star halls appear, they will only exist for fifteen minutes. When the seven star halls disappear, the eighth star hall will also disappear. Why are you in a hurry? If you are in such a rush, you can enter it first. Shi Lei opened his eyes and coldly glanced at Star Lord Wan Xiang. Lord Shi Lei is jesting, my battle strength has fallen to the depths, I still need to rely on Lord to break through the ancient desolate beast's defenses. Star Lord Wan Xiang chuckled and did not speak any further. However, his fists that were hidden inside his sleeves were tightly clenched, if not for his strength plummeting and the tribulation coming soon, why would he reveal this treasury on his own initiative? And why would he have to be forced to bottle up his frustration? He knew Shi Lei's scheme and intentions. Shi Lei was a battle addict, unreasonable and unruly, but he was in no way stupid. Everyone who reached a high position had their own outstanding points. The outstanding and famous Shi Lei did not lack shrewdness. Shi Lei accepted Star Lord Wan Xiang's invitation to come to Starry Sky Grotto Heaven to plunder resources. But he did not put in his full effort, he was interested in breaking through the Eighth Star Hall, but he was not willing to see Star Lord Wan Xiang obtain large numbers of resources to pull through the difficulties and escape his grasp. If Star Lord Wan Xiang does not obtain a fortune in this trip, he would have to request help from others when undergoing the tribulation. Shi Lei could help him then and also obtain a greater grasp on him. When that happens, in their future visits to Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, Shi Lei could obtain larger benefits which would absolutely not be in an 80 to 20 ratio like in this trip. Every year, Starry Sky Grotto Heaven would reveal a tiny gap which allowed Gu Immortals to enter it. Every time, the Gu Immortals could only stay inside for two days of Central Continent's time. There were abundant desolate beasts and resources in Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, it was clearly a small but steady source of resources. Star Lord Wan Xiang was a prime example of this, he was obviously a lone cultivator, but with each of his visits to Starry Sky Grotto Heaven, he was able to strengthen himself to the extent that his peak battle strength did not lose out to the majority of Gua mortals of the ten great ancient sections. Even when fighting Song Zi Xing, he had even been able to make a good record of himself. After a while, Shi Lei's injuries healed completely with no traces of injuries anywhere on him. Because of the previous oath, Shi Lei could not push it too far, he examined his body once then stood up, sorry to keep you waiting, we can now go in. Star Lord Wan Xiang put on a smiling expression and shook his head, it was me who was overly anxious, I have to ask Immortal Monkey King to not blame me. More preparations quicken the speed of the work, I will still have to rely on your strength a lot more. Shi Lei bluntly nodded, naturally. He stamped his foot and charged straight into the sky. Star Lord Wan Xiang followed closely behind. The two immortals moved towards the eighth star hall in the sky together. At the same time, Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan also jumped out of a well. This is another star hall. 
Fan Yuan said as he scanned his surroundings. Up to date. O V. L. Bin. Dot. C. M. Hey Lulan nodded, we used many methods to test and we were not wrong, these six wells are passages. The two gazed behind them. The center of this star hall also had six wells. But the colors were slightly different from the previous star hall. In the previous star hall, the six well waters were of red, brown, yellow, blue, purple and white color. However, the six well waters here emitted the colors of red, brown, yellow, blue, green and white. Purple was gone and green was added. He Lulan and Fang Yuan looked at each other. Both were clever and shrewd, and they both obtained an understanding. What do you think of it? He Lulan asked. Fang Yuan grinned, showing his sharp, jagged canines as he replied with his hoarse voice, If I am not wrong, this starry sky grotto heaven has a special terrain, there are a total of seven spaces. These seven spaces are isolated and independent of each other, outsiders can only enter or exit them through the six wells in the star halls. He Lulan nodded and picked up a goo worm from the ground, this is the mortal goo you tossed earlier into the purple well water, it is the best proof. If my speculation is right, there is also another form of proof, that is the sky. When we go out of this star hall, this space's sky should also have six round shadows of stars. The difference should be that there instead of a purple star shadow, there should be a green star shadow. Fang Yuan agreed with Hei Lu Lan's speculation. Normal grotto heavens and blessed lands would have integrated spaces. But starry sky grotto heaven was special, it was actually divided into seven spaces, and every space had an independent sky, earth and ecology. In his previous life, what Fang Yuan explored was only the fragment world of starry sky grotto heaven and he did not know of this layer of mystery. He and Hei Lulan finished discussing and they walked out of the door of the hall, gazing at the sky. They saw six round star shadows like six full moons floating in the air, Hei Lulan clapped her hands and gave a bright smile, just like I guessed. Wait, someone is here. Fang Yuan's pupils shrunk as he looked at the moving objects in the distance and happened to see Shi Lei and Star Lord Wan Xiang rapidly flying. Following the direction they were flying towards, Fang Yuan discovered the eighth star hall. This star hall seems to be of a higher standard, it is hovering in the air and is being coveted by others, it is very likely that it is the central control point of starry sky grotto heaven. He Lu Lan guessed, her gaze stuck on the eighth star hall. There are actually others who are one step ahead of us. Fang Yuan mumbled. He was shocked internally, according to his previous estimation, Starry Sky Grotto Heaven was a place with no one but the Heavenly Spirit existing in it. If not for this, Starry Sky Grotto Heaven should not have fallen in his previous life. However, the current situation was that he saw no signs of the Heavenly Spirit and instead saw two Gu Immortals. As for the Gu Immortals' appearances and identities, the distance between them was very far so Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan were not able to see clearly. However, the two felt that these neither of these two Gu Immortals were the owners of this Grotto Heaven. If one of them was the owner of this Grotto Heaven, they would have already sensed Hei Lu Lan and Fang Yuan, and would have acted by now. What's strange about it? You could obtain the secret intelligence about Starry Sky Grotto Heaven from some source, does that mean other Gu Immortals cannot? He Lu Lan was able to accept this fact much more easily than Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan laughed bitterly in his heart. He had concealed from He Lu Lan that the so-called information source was, in fact, his own self. However, it seemed that the truth and his preconceptions were vastly different. The first possible cause for this situation would be Fang Yuan's rebirth constantly influencing the various events in the world, causing a butterfly effect. The second possible reason was there was a lot of details behind the scenes regarding the fall of Starry Sky Grotto Heaven in his previous life, it was just that he did not know about them and now in this life, he ran across one of the inside stories. Fang Yuan's thoughts ebbed and flowed, 
inclining towards the second cause. At this moment, sounds of fighting came from the eighth star hall. Looks like these two Gu immortals are of similar status to us, they are also outsiders. But, they are a step ahead of us. Hei Lu Lan's gaze flickered. Fang Yuan did not reply, he just snickered, his laughter was cold. Hei Lu Lan also silently grinned. These two were formidable characters and were also schemers. Right now, the enemy was in the open while they were in the dark and both felt they had a had huge advantage, they could even be said to be the Oriole in the saying the mantis stalks the cicada, unaware of the Oriole behind. Immediately, Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan activated large numbers of mortal goo to hide their bodies and restrain their auras, as well as using many kinds of investigative methods to scout. The two quietly closed the Star Hall's door, got rid of all their traces and slowly moved outside. After a while, Fang Yuan who was walking in front suddenly stopped and warned Hei Lu Lan, slow down, there is a rank 5 investigative goo ahead. Hei Lu Lan carefully probed, and saw an eye-like small goo worm quietly hovering in the air. Its eyes were slowly moving around, constantly scanning its surroundings. The two were not surprised. With just one look, one could see this goo worm was not a wild goo and was clearly left behind by the two goo immortals from before. This was expected. Previously, when Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan had explored the space relating to the green star shadow, they had also left behind similar investigative goo to keep watch on their paths. After becoming a goo immortal, one no longer lacked mortal goo. These mortal goo could let the goo immortal constantly scan their surroundings, mark the area, warn them and many other uses. Hei Lu Lan was young, she had just advanced into a goo immortal, thus was not able to recognize this goo's details, giving a suggestion of caution, let's detour. Fang Yuan smiled, no need. This goo is starshine fake eye goo, it has a long-range sensing ability, Gu immortals can observe the situation of the surroundings through it. Its scope is 5 Li, it cannot detect stealth, and not only does using this Gu constantly consume primeval essence, it also burdens the soul. We can use methods to be invisible and boldly go past it. At the same time, Fang Yuan added in his mind, this Gu worm is often used together with true sight Gu which can then detect stealth and invisibility. But that is the situation during the Five Regions Chaotic War, the true sight Gu is still being held by some small sect right now and has not been wantonly spread. Hei Lu Lan glanced at Fang Yuan, still not feeling relieved, are you sure you are not wrong? Gu immortals research new Gu all the time, maybe this Gu worm is a newly researched Gu that can see through invisibility? Fang Yuan snickered. You think I only looked at it with my eyes and did not use other goo worms to check it? Don't worry, 8 or 9 out of 10 goo immortals are flying masters, but having even 2 to 3 refinement path masters out of 10 would be pretty good. Refinement path is considerably harder to advance compared to other paths. Chapter 719 Small methods have profound meaning, the more one understands the more shocking it is. Fang Yuan spoke with such certainty that Hei Lu Lan chose to believe him. The two hid their bodies and swaggered into Starshine Fake Ai Gu's range, and they indeed did not attract any Gu immortal's attention. Along the way, the two found similar types of investigative Gu like Starshine Fake Ai Gu. Some of these Gu worms were buried in the ground, some were disguised as tree leaves, and some were hidden in brooks, drifting with the water. Fang Yuan used his methods one by one, sometimes invisibility, sometimes goo worms directed at countering them, or tunneling under the ground or swimming through water, all kinds of methods to slip past these investigative goo worms. The two had wanted to move until they were below the 8th star hall, and the shortest way would be a straight line to the 8th star hall. If they got a chance, they could also quickly react and use the shortest amount of time to charge to the 8th star hall, and fish benefits from the messy situation. However, as they walked through this straight line, a bloody odor assailed their noses from ahead. Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan glanced at each other, the latter revealed a doubtful look as she used her divine sense to transmit, strange, 
both the amount of investigative goo in this path and their types are increasing more and more. Let's take a look. Fong Yuan replied. The two cautiously evaded or deceived the investigative goo worms, and discovered further traces of battle. After a while, they finally reached the area where there was the most intense odor of blood. They saw a black leopard's corpse lying on the shattered and disordered pile of rocks. The black leopard was as large as an elephant. Its fur was glossy and shiny, full of wild charm. The remaining aura showed the black leopard's identity, a genuine desolate beast. This desolate beast is a vanishing shadow leopard. Fong Yuan said in a low voice. It is that someone killed this vanishing shadow leopard and yet left behind its corpse here. He Lu Lan revealed a trace of doubt. Fong Yuan squatted down near the ground, and used his hand to feel the gully beside his legs. He then took out a time path goo worm and carefully activated it. This goo worm had the appearance of a crystal sphere, and was an extremely rare rank 5 goo. Its name was Backtrack Goo, an investigative goo under time path, which could backtrack to the past events within a specific range. Read Lat. STCH. Ters on N. Slash V slash. Slash L. B. I. Dot. C. M. Backtrack Goo was activated, it displayed a blurry and mute battle scene. In the scene, two giant figures were in an intense battle while a small figure was standing far away to the side. Backtrack Goo was only a rank 5 mortal Goo, and whether it was Shirley, the Vanishing Shadow Leopard or Star Lord Wan Xiang, they were all rank 6 or above, immortal bodies and desolate beast bodies had Dao marks, thus Backtrack Goo's investigative ability was restrained greatly. Hei Lu Lan came closer and watched the battle. The mute battle scene was extremely blurry. But they could roughly guess that one of them was the Vanishing Shadow Leopard from the approximate build. And the one battling with the Vanishing Shadow Leopard did not seem to be a human but a tiger desolate beast. The one standing far away had a human shape and could be a goo immortal. But their appearance was blurry and they could not be sure. Not only this, the battle seemed broken off intermittently and was not coherent. Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan observed the battle with all their attention, for a moment, other than the slight breeze in the mountains, there was no other sound. After a dozen breaths of time, scorching smoke started to curl up from the backtrack goo and the battle scene suddenly disappeared. The backtrack goo had died as a result of forcibly recreating the image of the goo immortal level battle. Fang Yuan felt slight heartache and put the scorched corpse of Backtrack Gu back inside his immortal aperture to get rid of any traces. He had been gathering this Backtrack Gu from Treasure Yellow Heaven recently but even then, he only had a total of 50 to 60. This was still the case when the five regions were in peaceful times, during the chaotic war of the regions, Backtrack Gu would be widely used and very hard to get, it would be a case where one would have to produce them for their own use, Treasure Yellow Heaven would simply have none for sale. Hei Lu Lan was very interested, this goo worm is quite ingenious, what is its name, did you buy it in Treasure Yellow Heaven? The varieties of goo worms in existence were as vast as the ocean. Moreover, Hei Lu Lan cultivated strength path, not time path, and her understanding of other paths was only at the basics, limited to the typically used goo worms. Goo worms like Backtrack Goo were classified as rare goo of another path, it was normal for her to not know of it. Fang Yuan did not reply, instead he took out another goo. He had refined this goo himself based to his memories. According to the course of history, this goo should have only appeared 300 years later, its name was Thread Trace Goo. Its appearance was quite special, resembling a small horsewhip which children from northern plains played with as toys. Fang Yuan used his enormous, monstrous zombie claws to grab it, making its small size even more apparent. Fang Yuan grabbed the handle of the horsewhip and softly whipped at the air in front of him. Crack. The empty air suddenly showed traces of marks. What is this? 
He Lulan gazed at the marks without blinking. Crack crack crack. Fan Yuan whipped the horsewhip like thread trace goo repeatedly, the marks in the air continued to increase. He Lulan watched the whole process and soon was able to sense that the space Fang Yuan was whipping it was the area where the fight in the battle scene had occurred, and also the area where that blurry goo immortal had been standing. As various thoughts flashed past, He Lulan's pupils slightly enlarged, blurting, could these marks be Dao marks? Fang Yuan gave a contented smile at this moment, right, they are Dao marks. Whether it be Gu Immortals or Desolate Beasts, they are filled with Dao Marks, and any area they stop at will leave behind Dao Marks for a short period of time. It is just that these Dao Marks are extremely weak, that even Gu Immortals paying close attention won't be able to sense them, that is, unless they use this thread trace Gu that I researched. From observing these Dao Marks, I can infer some information on them. Fang Yuan once again brazenly took on someone else's creation from his previous life as his own. Thread Trace Gu Hei Lu Lan mumbled, her gaze towards Fang Yuan had changed a little. Fang Yuan pointed towards the area where Star Lord Wan Xiang had stood previously, look, the Dao marks have manifested and formed a human shape. The color is azure blue which means a star path Gu immortal had been observing the battle. The greater portion of the Dao marks had stayed there and although there are some Dao marks in the surroundings, they are mostly tightly enclosed around the greater portion, this means that Star Path Gu Immortal had only been observing from the side during the whole battle. And looking at the concentration of the Dao marks, it seems to be a rank 6 Gu Immortal. He Lu Lan looked at the direction Fang Yuan pointed towards and listened to him, paying full attention. Fang Yuan then pointed at the area where the vanishing shadow leopard died, there were remaining Dao marks of black color for dark path and red color for fire path. He continued, the dark path Dao marks clearly belong to the vanishing shadow leopard while the red color Dao marks belong to the existence that killed the vanishing shadow leopard. As for their identity, whether they are man or beast, that is still not certain. Look at how concentrated these Dao marks are and how they are intertwined with each other, this shows that the battle was very intense. The dark path Dao marks are sparse while the red colored Dao marks are rather dense, we can deduce that the existence that killed the vanishing shadow leopard is also at least of rank 6 realm. Hei Lu Lan's mouth widened slightly as she listened to Fang Yuan. Her gaze towards the thread trace goo in Fang Yuan's hand became slightly burning. This thread trace goo was only a rank 5 mortal goo, but it was very useful. With just this goo, one could infer so much useful information. The key thing was the thoughts involved in refining it were very special, and it could even be said to have blazed an unexpected new trail that bypasses common logic. He Lulan might have just recently advanced into a Gu immortal, but she understood the importance of information and started to give more significance to Fang Yuan invention. Red Trace Gu. Had Shirley and Star Lord Wan Xiang been here, they would probably be soaked in cold sweat. They had used mainstream investigative methods and counter investigative methods, but Thread Trace Gu just happened to pierce through the gap in them. Fang Yuan's methods were from the time of the chaotic war of the five regions, after all, the materialization of the intelligence of the whole five regions, it was like they were over half an era ahead of current Gu immortals, naturally they had huge superiority. Crack crack crack. Fang Yuan lashed the horsewhip several times, many more Dao marks appeared but also many more disappeared. These Dao marks were very weak and were gathered together by thread trace Gu, thus greatly shortening their already limited lifespan. Dao marks entangled mutually, getting more disorderly. Fang Yuan finally stopped lashing the horsewhip and sighed, this is more or less the ability of this thread trace Gu, the manifestation of Dao marks lasts only for a period of time and requires the observer to have plenty of experience. Moreover, activating immortal Gu also leaves behind responding Dao marks. In an intense battle, many abilities and methods are used, causing the Dao marks to entangle and become extremely chaotic with no way to infer anything. However, fortunately, few methods were used in this battle, so we are able to roughly understand the situation. 
Hei Lu Lan's eyelids twitched. Inferring so much useful information with a mere rank 5 mortal goo and still not satisfied. Her gaze firmly locked upon the thread trace goo until Fang Yuan stored it back in his immortal aperture. She keenly discovered that the formerly intact thread trace goo's whip like body was full of cracks now. Clearly, there was a price to pay for manifesting the Tao marks. Hei Lu Lan inwardly estimated, this thread trace goo could be used for two more times at the minimum. Immediately, her evaluation of thread trace goo increased by another level. It could be used for a total of three times. A mere rank 5 goo worm could be used three times to investigate into existences of rank 6 level and obtain so much information. Just as Hei Lu Lan was unable to endure and was about to ask if Fang Yuan was selling thread trace goo, Fang Yuan took out another investigative goo worm. This was only a qi path goo worm which Fang Yuan used to draw in the surrounding sense. Next, Fang Yuan stored this qi path goo worm and took out another goo worm. He moved everywhere around the battlefield and activated goo worms from time to time. Hei Lu Lan was only able to recognize a small portion of these goo worms, but it was also not to the extent where she was certain. The remaining greater portion, Hei Lu Lan simply had no idea, unable to recognize any of them. She subconsciously pursed her lips, as she for the first time felt that Fang Yuan had unfathomable depths. During the journey in Northern Plains, she only felt that Fang Yuan was experienced and astute, and a major enemy. When cooperating with Fang Yuan, she had no choice but to do so, and was very aware that it was asking for favors from a tiger. She got Fang Yuan's help to pass through her tribulation and become a Gu immortal, she had thought she could suppress Fang Yuan a notch. But soon, Fang Yuan used her and Fairy Li Shan to scare even immortal crane sex Gu immortals away. The whole thing was won before engaging in battle, which gave no chance for Hei Lu Lan to make a move. Since there was no loss in battle, Fang Yuan did not have to pay twice the compensation, it was akin to him obtaining his objective without losing anything. In contrast, to coax Fang Yuan to make an effort, Hei Lu Lan had to give the precious true meaning infusion of reckless savage demon venerable to him. Fang Yuan was also truly ruthless, he swallowed it whole without leaving behind anything to Hei Lu Lan. Later, Fang Yuan started the guts goo business and took the initiative to share profits with Hei Lu Lan and Fairy Li Shan. Although he needed Hei Lu Lan's strength chi immortal goo in the process, Hei Lu Lan did not feel comfortable the whole time, it seemed as if she was being controlled. Now, Hei Lu Lan felt a shiver in her heart as she looked at Fang Yuan using these methods. These small methods all used mortal goo and were seemingly unremarkable, but Hei Lu Lan was a discerning person, how could she not understand the profound significance represented by these small methods? Chapter 720, Picking Them Up One by One, A Windfall of a Great Fortune After Hei Lu Lan ascended to an immortal, she was taught by Fairy Li Shan, guided step by step, she was instructed in almost all aspects. Thus, in terms of investigative methods, Hei Lu Lan was not inferior to ordinary Gu immortals. But Fang Yuan's foundation is so deep, he is evidently miles ahead of most Gu immortals now. Although I have several immortal Gu, can I be like Fang Yuan and create new Gu independently, to modify and perfect my own killer moves? Hei Lu Lan shook her head internally. Her strength path killer move was given to her by her mother. To refine new Gu, one had to create new Gu recipes. This process not only required resources and ample foundation in that path, one also needed inspiration and luck. Hei Lu Lan was indeed a Gu immortal, but she was too young, she was not a refinement path master, and not even skilled in refinement path. Foundation could only be attained after a long period of trial and error, of exploring and accumulating experiences slowly. Follow the latest novels. N. Slash Velbin, dot, com. At this point, Fang Yuan walked back, he hummed, summing up all of the clues, I mostly know the other party's identities already. Oh. 
One is a rank 6 star path Gu immortal, he has not made a move yet and is more mysterious. The other is an earth path Gu immortal who cultivates transformation path as well, he has a powerful aura and using Gu worms, I caught a trace of his voice, this is likely Sher Lei from combat immortal sect in central continent. Fang Yuan said. That immortal monkey king. Hei Lu Lan and Fang Yuan had shared most of their information, she naturally knew who Sher Lei was. She started to frown, finding it a little troublesome. Sher Lei was a rank 7 Gu immortal, he had outstanding battle strength. Even though Hei Lu Lan had several strength path immortal Gu, Sher Lei had earth path immortal Gu and had even created his own unique immortal killer moves long ago. In addition, he even cultivated transformation path, his battle talent was exceedingly rare. Hei Lu Lan had immortal Gu self strength, using it to activate her former mortal killer move, forming a giant strength path phantom, that could barely be considered an immortal killer move. Up to this point, Hei Lu Lan had been attempting to improve and modify it, but her progress was slow. Fang Yuan, if you use the myriad self killer move, and cooperate with me, we might be able to resist the immortal monkey king. But in that case, we will not be able to deal with the mysterious star path Gu immortal. Hei Lu Lan muttered. Fang Yuan laughed bitterly, I have not told you yet, but because the core immortal Gu is starving, Myriad self cannot be used anymore. All I can use are mortal killer moves. Hei Lu Lan looked at Fang Yuan deeply, squinting, in other words, we should avoid fighting with the other party directly. Roar roar roar. High in the air, there was loud growling noises. Fang Yuan raised his head and looked, there are bound to be injuries when two sides fight, we should just go with the flow and observe the situation now. Although our battle strength is lower than them, if we find a chance, it is not necessarily the case that we can't have them killed. In the worst case, I still have fixed immortal travel, we can definitely resist them while we find the time to activate fixed immortal travel. Hei Lu Lan nodded in agreement, Fang Yuan's words were very similar to her own thoughts. The two decided to devour the loot in front of them first. The vanishing shadow leopard corpse was quite a fortune. Even though there were large numbers of investigative goo around, they could not stop the old demon Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan had methods that were ahead by half of an era, he made his moves, sealing or deceiving the investigative goo. A moment later, they obtained the vanishing shadow leopard's corpse without alerting Star Lord Wan Xiang. This vanishing shadow leopard's fur can be used to make many defensive goo. The bones can be made into shadow attachment goo, shadow tracing goo and others, the eyes are top tier materials for making dark vision goo and dark fog goo. It is a pity its blood had already been lost completely. Otherwise, it would be even more valuable. Hei Lu Lan placed the vanishing shadow leopard corpse into her immortal aperture, her eyes shining with a joyful light. The other party seems to be letting it bleed on purpose, it seems that the star hall in the air is truly an important place. They even ignored the desolate beast corpse for now. Fang Yuan showed an interested expression as he pondered. His immortal aperture was filled with death energy, it was not good for keeping corpses fresh, thus he placed the vanishing shadow leopard in Hei Lu Lan's hands. The two were fearless and unscrupulous people. Even if the other party was strong, they dared to continue plotting against them. Next, they followed their original plan and secretly advanced, trying to get close to the eighth star hall in the air. But along the way, they quickly made a new discovery. The number of investigative goo ahead have increased, does that mean? Hei Lu Lan's gaze shone with anticipation. After a while, the two avoided all of the investigative goo, passing a mountain ridge and into a valley. In the valley, there was a desolate beast corpse, resembling a small hill. It was like a colt, it had a huge, bright red body with thick legs, dark as steel, its body was strong, muscular and bulky. Its mane and tail were vibrant and golden in color. Blood was dripping from the holes all over its body. The blood was scalding hot, 
and the heat spread to the surrounding trees and plants, causing them to wilt. Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan gradually got closer, feeling a heat that was like a blisteringly hot summer day. This is the desolate beast blazing divine stallion, it has many fire path wild goo on it and can walk on fire. Its blood is extremely hot and is a top-tier material in refining fire path goo worms, it is very rare even in treasure yellow heaven. Hei Lu Lan's heart bled as she looked at the horse blood flowing out. The two worked for a while, getting their hands on the blazing divine stallion, while Star Lord Wan Xiang still had absolutely no idea. After leaving this valley, the two moved stealthily, but Fang Yuan slowed his footsteps. Our destination is up ahead. But towards the left, there are large numbers of investigative goo, should we go take a look? Fang Yuan looked at Hei Lu Lan, transmitting. Of course. Hei Lu Lan's reply was very curt. The two came to the area that was filled with investigative goo, they found a desolate beast corpse as expected. This was a yellow jade lion. Its body was like an elephant, lying on the ground with its eyes mostly closed, only opened by a slit. Large amounts of yellow blood flowed along the wound on its stomach, pouring out. Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan stealthily moved closer, but this yellow jade lion's body shook, it tried to open its eyes as its bloody mouth opened slightly, emitting a barely discernible growl, as if it wanted to continue battling. This yellow jade lion truly has a courageous nature. To be able to hurt the yellow jade lion to this extent, this Sher Lei's transformation path battle strength is greater than I thought. Hei Lu Lan praised. Fang Yuan was overjoyed. He quickly made his move, after deceiving many of the surrounding investigative methods, he stole the yellow jade lion. He patted with his hand, as large numbers of healing goo flew out of his aperture, landing on the yellow jade lion, rapidly stabilizing its injuries and keeping it alive. You intend to save it? Hei Lu Lan was slightly surprised. Fang Yuan nodded. Saving it is a hundred times easier than capturing another desolate beast alive, why shouldn't we? You can keep this desolate beast in your immortal aperture for now, be careful and keep it safe, this will be part of my share. This way, as long as things progressed well, the mission that Fang Yuan agreed upon with Lang Ya Lan spirit would be completed. Hei Lu Lan placed the yellow jade lion into her immortal aperture, her gaze was shining as she seemed to have made up her mind, saying, the three desolate beasts we had encountered had their blood drained for some reason. Very likely, Shirley's group is trying to complete some procedure. Maybe this was the reason why the star hall in the sky appeared. After all, when we first appeared in this place, the sky was still empty. How many desolate beast corpses do you think are around here now? Fang Yuan laughed upon hearing this even if you did not mention this, I was going to talk about it. Indeed, looking at this situation, there are definitely many desolate beast corpses around. One desolate beast corpse can be sold for around 40 immortal essence stones optimally. It is truly an effortless profit for us to pick up these desolate beast corpses. The benefits are huge, yet we are paying zero costs. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, moreover, we might not have the opportunity again. We should secure these profits first, that is the safest measure. The two had the same plot in mind, they changed their tactics and started scouring for desolate beast corpses. They could not use investigative goo openly, but the clues were very obvious. Star Lord Wan Xiang's original plan was to keep these desolate beast corpses around first, and deal with them after taking down the Eighth Star Hall. The aura of these desolate beasts was still around, with that to induce fear, he was not afraid of wild beasts devouring them. Shi Lei was in charge of fighting, while Star Lord Wan Xiang was in charge of setting up investigative goo worms. Naturally, he would place more investigative goo around the corpses of the desolate beasts. But he would never have guessed that putting all of these investigative goo together was the biggest clue in itself, they were guides for Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan to find the corpses. 
This is the chestnut yak, its meat tastes like chestnut, it can be eaten raw. It has a mild nature and is a somewhat unusual desolate beast. Hmm, -hmm let's keep it, keep it. Hey Lu Lan was laughing happily. Oh, there is a golden pangolin. It is a pity its armor is tattered, otherwise, it could be sold for a higher price. Fang Yuan said with some disappointment. Flying bear, there is a flying bear corpse. Great, excellent, I want this corpse. Hei Lu Lan was overjoyed. Hmm. Star Demon Bat. I knew this rotten poisonous swamp was very familiar. It is a pity that the bat wings are in bad shape, it would greatly affect my movement speed if I transplant it like this. I wonder if I can fix it first. Fang Yuan also stole the corpse of the star demon bat. He felt some regret, but he quickly got over it. After all, he did not battle the bat himself, why would Sher Lei care about his plans? Obtaining the corpse without any cost, this was already a huge gain. He had not felt such good luck in a long time. The two obtained nearly ten desolate beast corpses, it was a windfall. After the two searched around and ensured that there was no lingering desolate beast corpses, they hurried towards the bottom of the eighth star hall. But when they arrived, a figure like a small hill crashed onto the ground. With a loud bang, it landed and caused the mountain rocks to shatter, dust and smoke was rising. This is the ancient desolate beast, astral wind flying heavenly boar. It is dead. This is the corpse of an ancient desolate beast. Fang Yuan and Hei Lu Lan made eye contact, after communicating through transmission, they were evidently moved.